guys, welcome back to your daily announcements. I'm your host, Ian Earl. And I'm William Montoya. So let's get right into it. So today is the first meeting of the Culture Club. Our goal is to learn about other cultures and most importantly, have a lot of fun. It's after school today in Mr. Wurtz's room for about an hour. And moving along, tutoring is going to be open in the ESL room Monday through Thursday, 2.45 to 3.45 p.m. All students welcome as per usual. Now off to cricket. Approximately two and a half million children are homeless annually in the United States. One in 30 American children experience homelessness. They will live with or without their families in shelters, cars, and abandoned buildings. 51% of American children who experience homelessness are under the age of five. When someone is experiencing being in transition, there are shelters that may be available for a short stay. These shelters provide housing and help with getting families back to living independently again. They may provide counseling, financial assistance, employment assistance, and other things needed to help remove barriers. The Keystone Place in Centerville, Michigan is the closest emergency shelter for housing for families and single adults. Teen Share is a child-only shelter located in Coldwater, Michigan. ARC for Youth is also a child-only shelter located in Kalamazoo. Domestic and Sexual Abuse Services is located in our county and you can reach them through telephone 800-828-2023. Thanks Cricket. So seniors, your senior pictures are due December 23rd. Email them to Mr. Meyer at amyer.org as soon as you have what you want us to use in the yearbook. Now off to Dylan's group for Senior American Legion stuff. Information on the American Legion, William D. and Joel Brewer and Guy M. Wilson scholarships, Wilson scholarships are now in guidance. Direct descendants of honorably discharged veterans or active duty service members. GPA 2.5 or higher, stop in for details. Thanks Dylan. The Spanish Honor Society is still selling rise and roll cinnamon donuts just like for the past few days. Half a dozen donuts cost $7.25. Orders will be delivered on December 9th. Anyone with questions about the donut sale can see Ms. McAllister for more information. Now to Logan's group for senior FAFSA news. Seniors, there is a new scholarship available that many of you will automatically qualify for if you complete the FAFSA application. Up to $2,750 if they attend a community college per year. Up to $5,500 if they attend a public university per year. Up to $4,000 if they can go to a private college or university. See Mrs. Phillips in room 113B for any FAFSA questions. Thanks, Logan. So once again, seniors, information on the Lake Michigan Credit Union's Lloyd F. Hutt Scholarship is now in guidance. This is open to all seniors who plan to enroll in a college or university or trade school in the fall of 2023. Stop in the guidance for details. And now we're going to go out to Aaron's group for fresh news on track and field. Hey, Sturgis High School. Me and Shane are about to race to tell you guys about indoor track and field. Yeah! I'm so ready for that sign slash parent informational meeting on Monday, November 21st at 6.15 p.m. in the cafeteria annex for indoor track and field. I'm the fastest man alive. Thanks, guys. The advisory versus advisory food drive challenge is still going on until Friday, so bring in your non-perishable food items for donation to the Salvation Army. Help your advisory class by Be the Winning Class and get a pizza party and be awarded the Golden Can Award. Finally, a happy birthday shout out today goes out to Edwin Romero Luna. Today's pledge participation shout out goes to Landry Kinnaman for always standing during the Pledge of Allegiance. If you feel that you have earned a shout out for your participation, email, have your teacher email Dustin Kranz at dcruston76 asterispsorg to get a shout out in future announcements. But now is your opportunity to stand. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all.